Bang, Detroit. bang. Detroit. Jock, and I'm back today with another video for y'all. And as you see from that title, from that thumbnail, I got a story time for y'all. And if you've been an OG since day one, or you've been coming up with me on YouTube, some of y'all might know I did this story already. But a lot of people still be asking, so I'm, I'll just go ahead and tell the story again. But before we get too far, did I tell y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell so you not miss a video? Period, because it's up here and it's stuck there. I don't know if I told y'all that, but if I did tell y'all that, I told y'all that again. Hmm. But we finna get straight into it. Like, baby, we finna get nailed to the nitty gritty. How did your girl start doing nails? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Doing nails... Doing nails was not what I wanted to do, honestly. I wanted to act, and I wanted to model, and I wanted to dance. I wanted to be a triple threat, pretty much but i couldn't sing so singing was always out of the out of the thing but i wanted to act and i wanted to get into tv and movies and stuff and i used to go to theater camp all the time like i grew up in the theater so like i don't know that's that's what i wanted to do and then one day we was in alabama we were still staying in alabama at the time and um we was like cleaning up because it was me and my mama when I say we. We was like cleaning up. Like I feel like we were like cleaning because we were in the process. Like we knew we were moving. We hadn't found a house here in Georgia yet, but we knew we were moving to Georgia. So we was cleaning up and we was going through the closet. And my mom, she used to go to cosmetology. Like my mom's a cosmetologist. She finished cosmetology school and graduated and got all got her license, all the good stuff. So like she had this big black duffel bag. With mannequin heads and roller sets and combs and and clips like she just had the whole cosmetology school in that bag and we was cleaning up and she was just like you want some out of here like you want some here go through it if you don't want it she was like it's going in the trash can and so i went through the stuff y'all and i don't know i've never been interested in hair and out of my whole 22 years life like even to right now I like right now I still don't want to do hair like I don't want to do hair I don't like doing hair like I don't like doing hair I would pay to get my hair done for the rest of my life but I chose to pick through the nail stuff out of that bag now this was like this had to be 2014 yeah it was 2014 I was in 10th grade I was in my second semester 10th grade yes I remember this is clear as day I was in my second semester 10th grade which means it was like January-ish or something like that and um I went through the stuff and I was playing in it and because I took the nail stuff and I did my own nails right and I ain't saying they look cute or nothing but like my mama she used to go my mama used to keep her nails done and like I could only get my nails done for prom like the first time I got my nails done was when I turned 13 when I turned 13 I, I had always asked can I get my nails done and she's just like no you're not old enough my mama didn't play none of that grown shit so like she wasn't going for that nail shit so um, when I turned 13, I got my nails done for the first time for my birthday. And my nails, I remember them nails to this day. Them nails was like this neon yellowish glitter that I picked out. And like I had 90s lines on all 10 fingers. Like girls back then and mamas was not doing that. They weren't paying for them to go get that. You finna go get this color and that's it. And you might have a different one color on your ring finger. That's it. But baby, I had design on all 10 fingers for my birthday. You couldn't tell me anything. Now, nah, they was little. They went long or nothing. So don't even get carried away. But I remember after that, I was just like, you know how you do that hand stuff? Like my nails is done. Like you just couldn't tell me nothing. But it was this one girl at school. And she was like, Jaquemia, Jaquemia, how long ago your birthday was? It's time for a feeling, ain't it? Like I kiss you not. This is what the girl says to me. Now, mind you, this is my first time getting my nails done. So, like, I used to go sit with my mom to get her nails done. But I don't know what no feeling is at this time. And at this moment, when I turned 13, I was in I was in seventh grade. I remember this. I was sitting. I was going to Bella Graph, sitting and missing a class. But I remember the person who said this to me, too. But I ain't going to call no names out. 
But she had said what she said and was like, it's time for you to get a feeling, ain't it? And that was just on my brain so heavy all day. So, like, when I went home, I had told my mama what the little girl said to me. And I'm like, mom, the girl at school said it's time for me to get a feeling. And y'all know parents. My mom was like, well, you could tell that blank to my huh. Blank, the blank, blank. Like, it was just like that. And no, I didn't get no feeling. I kept the nails on until they came off. Like, my mama didn't play that. It was no feeling. Like, I think the next time I got my nails done outside of that was because my god mama got my nails done. Like, I don't know. I don't know. My godmama just got my nails done. I think I was just with her one day and she went to the shop. And then, it, like, being that my mama had did it that one time, like, it was okay. So, I had got my nails done. But I couldn't get my nails done all the time, basically, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. That's how I felt. And I used to go with my mama to get her nails done. And I used to want my nails done. And now my mama be like, she ain't never say that. She ain't never tell me she want her nails done. Mom, I just feel like you take your little girl to the shop with you. You know that she want her nails done. Like, stop playing. But... I kept playing in that stuff, y'all, and I used to do my nails, and I remember I was going to JD. I had took all that nail stuff to school in a book bag one day because y'all know how, like, towards the end of the year, or, like, I don't know, you just know how, I don't know if it was the end of the year or what, but you know how you just don't be doing nothing in class, like, and they be having y'all on lockdown in one class all day for testing and shit like that. I knew that's what we was on at school, so I took all that nail shit to school, and, bitch, I was doing nails in the back of the classroom. Like, to this day, I'll never forget, dog. I'll never forget. Now, who nails I did in the classroom? I think I did my Isha nails in the classroom. I did some of my nails, nails in the classroom. Kiara on her nails done. Like, we was being so ghetto. I had got in trouble because it smelled like nail polish. And the man was like, put that up. And it's just like, girl, no. I don't know. But I really used to do nails in the classroom. So... My mama didn't used to want to pay for me to get my nails done, basically. And I just felt like my mama not going to pay for me to do it. So she was like, here, look in this bag. And I seen the nail stuff, and I just started playing in it. And as time went on, I don't know. This just, I just like doing it. Like, I used to try stuff. Like, I used to go fill my own nails in. Like, I used to try stuff. Like, my mom used to pull that. Go get my nails done for prom. And then after prom, she don't take me to get my nails done again. Guess what? I'm finna fill them in. And I'm finna make them look good. I don't care. I started off doing my own nails. Like, this is what I really want to do. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I just, this is just what I want to do. Like, when I start doing nails, and then... So, like, I'm not going to make it seem like I've been consistently doing nails from 2014 up to now. But I started, I first picked up a brush, some acrylic, and any of that shit in 2014. And then we moved here, and I really wasn't playing in the stuff no more once we moved here. And because we was in Atlanta, so we was like, oh, we in Atlanta, we can find somebody real good, real fine now. You know, now, like... My mama was more open to letting me get my nails done now because still at that time, I still wasn't wearing no weaves or nothing. Like, she didn't let me wear no sew-ins, no weave, like, none of that stuff. Like, I didn't get my first sew-in until 11th grade. Like, my mom was not playing none of that shit. But, um, but we had moved here and then, I don't know. I remember one year for Christmas, my mama had bought me, like, my mom bought me my OG lamp that's still sitting over here to this floor. Like, everything that I started out with doing nails, I still have to this moment in time. Like, that lamp, I done had that lamp since 2015, 2016. And I think it's, it just started to glitch on me like a year or two ago. Like, and I don't even think it was glitching on me. I just think I wanted a new one because it was so big and took up so much space. But I started doing nails more because... I don't know. When I had got my first job, my first job was just, I don't know. I used to do my own nails, and they used to be like, Jack, who did your nails? And I'd be like, I did them. They'd be like, uh-uh. And I'd be like, I swear I did. I only did one hand. Like, you think I went to pay somebody to just do one hand? And no. I know. My bad. Like I was saying. 
But then, no, let me go back a little bit because even before high school, no, not before high school, but before I got my first job, I had this like group of friends and I used to do everybody nails. But then like really specifically, one person out of the group of friends just let me do her nails all the time, her and her sister. They used to let me be that game. Like I was, I used to fuck their hands up. I did. Like I, I ain't gonna hold you. I used to fuck their hands up, but I know I do good nails now. <laughs> so it don't even matter. And then I think I kept saying 10th grade in the beginning of the video. I started doing nails the second semester of ninth grade because 10th grade is when I moved here. I wasn't even there then. So I started doing, I moved here my second semester of 10th grade is what I think I was trying to say in the beginning. And I started doing nails my second semester of ninth grade when I was in Alabama, which was 2014. But I used to do their nails all the time. That was like my practice because I never really cared to use the practice hand. Like to me, the practice hand, I can't really feel it. I don't know if I'm hurting you and I really want to know if I'm hurting you. I want to know if I'm cutting you, if I'm too close, you know what I'm saying? If I'm fouling too much or too long, like I need to know that. So I prefer to work on actual people. But when I got my first job and like I said, they used to always ask about my nails and I'm just like, y'all, I don't do nails. I just do my nails. But then like, I just hated that job so bad. Like my managers did not like me and they didn't have a problem making it clear they didn't like me. Like they ain't like me. I ain't like them either. But still, what I'm saying is they ain't like me. They just made my job really hard. And it had just came to a point where this is my first job, fresh out of high school. So I want to say I graduated May 2017. So I want to say I started this job like March 2018 is what I want to say March 2018 is when I started working but they wasn't I don't know I just didn't care for them that was my first time having to have a job and like really listen to people and I just seen that me working out there just ain't ain't it ain't it so like I really had started working so hard, like y'all, I was getting 60, 65 hours a week because I was staying in that restaurant till open close. We opened at 10 30. I was there at 10 and I was gone. Like I went out of there until we closed at what time? I feel like we closed at 10 or maybe 9, 9 30. But basically, you know, when you work in a restaurant, you don't get off at the time y'all close anyway. You're there for another hour, hour and a half or whatever. But I had set a goal for myself and I had started saving all of my checks. And I was like, I'm finna stop doing this. Like I'm really, I'm finna really start doing nails. Like that's what I really said to myself. Like I'm really, I'm finna really start doing nails. And I just started buying up nail stuff. Like I just started going buying acrylic, buying stuff that I thought was cute. And I really didn't have no clients, but well, not even really, but I didn't have no clients. I used to only play in my hand and then I wasn't friends with that group of girls no more. So that was those four or five hands that I had to practice on. My mama did not let me play in her hand. My mama supported my dreams and she'll buy me some supplies or something, but she was not letting me play in her hand. Um, so like I knew I was good with myself when my mama let me start doing her nails. I think my mama didn't let me start doing her nails until like I started taking nails serious, 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 January 2019. Was it January 2019? It was either, cause I graduated 17. I started the job, I want to say like I want to say I started the job. Yeah, I had to start that job like March because I didn't work that year. I want to say I started the job like March. And like, I don't know. I was preparing myself for January 2019. I was. I was preparing myself for January 2019 is when I really started taking clients, clients. And I started saying, hey, I'm doing nails. I just used to post on Instagram. Hey, I need nail models. $20, $25. You know what I'm saying? I used to take the price up just little by little. And that's how I got here. So from 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 me getting my first job in 2018 and having to work for somebody else, like that was my first job, my first step into the real world. And I was like, nah, this ain't it. Like this can't be it. Like 
no nah, i'm finna do nails i'm finna do what i want to do for real for real like i let somebody talk to me crazy in here before i let somebody talk to me crazy when i'm in there clocked in at somebody else's job because like bitch i already don't want to be here like who are you talking to you know what i'm saying like in here you still ain't finna talk to me like you crazy but i'll be a little bit more understanding because i actually want to be in here and i want to make your vision come to life like i really like doing this like i really love doing this shit like i like being fine like I like, I don't know. I like creating stuff. I like to envision stuff and create it and be like, voila, magic. Like, I don't do nails just for money. I do nails because this is what I really want to do. And I don't know. And I think I really appreciate my mama for not paying for me to get my nails done and not letting me do everything that all the other kids was doing because... I don't know. I probably wouldn't necessarily be doing nails because like I said, I started doing this because she wouldn't pay for it. So if she would have paid for it, you know what I'm saying? That's handicapping me. I ain't finna learn how to do it because I know my mom gonna pay for it. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, I'm 22 now and looking back at younger self, at 13 year old self, 14 year old self, I appreciate that. I really do because Baby, my mama got her nails done for free. She don't even pay for that no more. Now, she did all that one pay for me to get my nails done. My mama don't even pay to get her nails done no more. And she cussed me out. Like, yesterday, I was booked up, and she wanted her nails done. And she told me she was going to go pay somebody to do her nails because she had to ask who did I had to work. <laughs> so petty. But I hope y'all enjoyed my story time because this camera is going to cut off and die. But, um... That's how I started doing nails. I started doing nails because my mom ain't want to pay for it. And I just felt like, hmm, she ain't going to pay for it. So I'm going to just do it myself and I'm going to figure it out. And I went from sloppy as heck to still learning, still growing. I'm a beast. And that's is what it is. I say don't give up on your dreams. Do what you want to do. Don't follow the trends. Don't follow the way. Just do it if this is what you really want to do. Like, when I started doing nails in 2014, it wasn't all these black girls and these black women or none of these. It wasn't all these women out here doing nails. It was only the salons. Like, I feel like I am truly a part of a... I'm a part of the new nail era. I don't care what nobody say. Can't nobody take it from me. Like, a lot of this stuff that y'all are doing now, and I don't say this to, to sound like... I don't say this to sound like, like I just been like, I don't know, but I've been doing this stuff for a real long time. Like some of this stuff that people is doing now, I've been doing this stuff and people used to say stuff to me about it. Like I used to get picked on for real, for real, joked on. Like, but y'all on the wave now, so I ain't even got to do all that. Y'all know what I'm saying. I, I set trends. I set trends. I really do. But... I enjoy my job and I enjoy helping people and I just am blessed to be here and I really thank y'all for all y'all support because 40k, 40k cannot be 40k without y'all. Like 40k, 40,000 people like the nails that I do at least. Like that's the least that I can say because I feel like if you follow me, you like the nails that I do. 40,000 people like the nails that I do. Like 40,000 people like something that i taught myself how to do y'all don't know how good that feel like y'all i started crying when i hit 40k because i just really worked so hard i ain't gonna cry now because it was like i ain't gonna cry now but i cried but that's it for this video y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn that post notification bell so you not miss video period because it's up there and it's stuck there and that's just that on that peace just got a summertime town. We just putting dollars on your head. Niggas violating the gang, go end up dead. Lady in the street, but the freak hoeing the bed.